Every time you click a button, stream a video, or open an app, there's a silent hero behind the scenes, the CPU. Hidden within the sleek designs of our favorite gadgets, these chips are the lifeline of technology. But how did we get here? The story starts over half a century ago, with innovations that transformed blocks of silicon into the brains of billions of devices around the world. Let's step into the fascinating world of CPU manufacturing to see how these tiny titans are made. 1. Design and Simulation Before a CPU can take physical form, it starts as a blueprint in the minds of engineers. Using advanced software, they sketch out the complex architecture of a microchip. This design includes billions of transistors, the tiny switches that process information. Engineers simulate the chip's performance on computers, tweaking the design to perfection. It's like planning a massive city on a speck of dust. 2. Creating the Silicon Wafer Silicon, the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust, is the starting point. Pure silicon is extracted and melted into a liquid. This liquid is then formed into a cylindrical shape and cooled to create a solid crystal, known as an ingot. The ingot is sliced into thin disks called wafers. These wafers are polished until they are flawlessly smooth. Imagine slicing a loaf of bread, but each slice must be perfect and identical. 3. Photolithography This is where the magic happens. Photolithography, a process similar to photography, shrinks the engineer's designs onto the wafer. First, the wafer is coated with a light-sensitive material. Then, using a machine called a stepper, light is shown through a mask with the chip pattern. The light transfers the pattern onto the wafer, it's like using a stencil to draw the same picture over and over, but with incredible precision. 4. Etching Now that the design is on the wafer, the next step is to etch those patterns into the silicon. This involves bathing the wafer in chemicals that eat away the unprotected parts of the silicon. Only the parts covered by the pattern resist the chemicals. Think of it as carving a sculpture, where you remove everything that doesn't look like your final piece. 5. Doping. The wafer then undergoes a process called doping, which involves adding impurities to the silicon. This step adjusts how well different parts of the CPU can conduct electricity. It's a bit like adding different spices to a dish to change its flavor. Doping changes how the silicon behaves. 6. Deposition. Next, various materials are layered onto the wafer. These materials could be insulators or conductors, depending on the need. This layering is done through techniques such as chemical vapor deposition. It's akin to layering a cake with different flavors and fillings, each layer serving a specific purpose. 7. Metallization To connect all the transistors and other components, a network of tiny wires is needed. This is achieved by adding layers of metal, typically copper or aluminum, onto the wafer. This network is what allows electricity to flow between the billions of transistors. Imagine drawing a spider web on a leaf, where each line must meet precisely without crossing incorrectly. 8. Assembly The wafer, now packed with connected circuits, is cut into individual chips. These chips are then packaged in a protective casing that shields them from damage and connects them to the outside world. It's like putting each piece of a puzzle into a tiny box, ready to be a part of a bigger picture. 9. Testing and Quality Control Every chip is tested for functionality and performance. Machines check each chip to ensure it meets the stringent requirements. Any chip that fails is discarded. This is like testing each bulb on a string of holiday lights. If one doesn't work, it could ruin the whole set. The chip is now ready to power anything from your smartphone to supercomputers. This journey from sand to silicon to software is a testament to human creativity and persistence. As simple as these steps may sound, each requires cutting-edge technology and the brightest minds in the world. Next time you swipe on your phone or click your mouse, remember the incredible journey of the tiny chip inside, making it all happen.